welcome back to To Algarve. And today we're in a lovely little village, Ferragudo. It's got a little bit of everything. We're gonna have a good look around. It's not a big place, but we're gonna show you as much as we can of this great little town. This great little town is right by Portimao. It's just on the other side of the Arade River. And one of the nice ways to come here is to get the water taxi from Portimao over here and come and enjoy this pretty quiet little town. So it's a nice little ferry journey, quite pleasant. You get to see a bit of the river, a bit of the wildlife. It's mostly calm because it's in an inlet and the cost is about up to 10 euros per person return. Like a lot of these authentic villages, the history is very much about fishing before tourism really became the main industry. But there are plenty of fishermen still plying their trade from here. And as you can see, it's a favorite with the seagulls. So the feeding frenzy behind me, which is really fascinating, maybe not if you're afraid of birds, is because the fishermen take the small fish that they don't want out of the nets and just throw them away, and the seagulls know that, so they're here for lunch. And it's a sheltered location with a great little harbour and harbour wall, which is perfect for landing fish, and that's why you'll see so many fishermen here still with the lobster pots, the crab pots, uh, squid, etc. And then the other side of the road, you've got the restaurants where you can sample those meals. <laughs> Look at this, codfish and turbo. Nice. This is the way to get fish in a fishing village cooked naturally outside. It is still a working town, although tourism is very important to it. And one of the nice things about that is it keeps going all year round. So as where some towns go really quiet, this one's open all year round. We're here in September and it's really, really pleasant, about 26 degrees, as you can see. And if you're like me, super fit and active, then this is the place where you can pick up a dolphin watching uh, trip, snorkeling, kayaking, paddle boarding, etc. It can all be booked from here. So what we do, we do like when we do these towns, we do like to sort of go a little bit off the beaten track. In this case, all we've done is walk up from the main town, the beach that everybody knows, we've come up past the church, and then we were on our way walking around to the fort and we find lovely little streets like this, which you, you don't see unless you go a little bit off the beaten track. Coming up from the main town, there's a nice climb of steps up to the main church, which was founded in 1520. It was damaged in the earthquake of 1755, but was then renovated. And it's been here ever since. like exploring these little places and you know I do like a set of steps although I'm just going down this time. And so you go all the way up to the church to the fort and then back down to the main square which is surrounded by great little restaurants, beautiful people in a beautiful little town just chilling out having a lovely lunch, glass of wine and some local food and we've even got music in the background. Doesn't get much better than that. If you're looking for something a little bit different again, a little bit more authentic, perhaps a little quieter, I think it's worth coming here, definitely. So I 
and be Nick to Algarve. I hope you've enjoyed this lovely little video and town as much as we've enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.